Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with our drawing of the day. Today we are making a beautiful bird called a swan. So to start my swan, I am working with Sharpie on paper, but I recommend that you guys start with pencil and eraser just in case you make a mistake. So, to start my swan, I'm going to work a little bit closer with the head. I'm going to start with the head and I'm going to work a little bit closer to the left hand side of the paper because I need to have room for the swan's body in the middle of the paper. So to start my swan's head, I'm going to draw a letter C, just like that. And inside that letter C, I'm going to have an eye and I'm going to put a little sparkle in that eye. And if you guys want to be a little fancy, you guys can always put little eyelashes. Swans are kind of fancy animals, so if you want to put a couple eyelashes on there, you can. And then I'm going to go ahead and start with the swan's long neck. So swans have like this long curving neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and I'm going to do this long curve like this. And then I'm going to copy the same thing on this side. So over here, I'm going to do a long neck like that. So now our neck has a thickness. And a lot of times I'll have like a little hint that that cheek kind of goes over that neckline just to make it look a little three dimensional. And then swans have a really long, like kind of like pointy beak. Like that. I like to draw my swans with, with beaks kind of like long and thin. And then to make it look like they can open their mouths, we need to draw one more line right down the middle, just like that. And then after you have that part done, we are ready for the swan's body. So we've got, we've got the head, we've got the neck, we're ready for our body. So to start the body, I like to go and curve around like this. And then the back, I start up a little bit like here and I just do a shape like this. And then with swans, I like their, their like feathers or their like their um, wings to be like kind of ruffly. So I'll do like a curve like this, but then at the end of the end of it here, I'm going to do like some little like feathers like that. So a little roughly and you guys can even add in some lines to look like feathers. Like sometimes I'll like add these little decorations in there so that it looks a little ruffly, like a swan's feathers would look. And then to finish off the body here, I'm just going to kind of like curve down like this and meet this line. All right, so there we have it. I've got my swan and I'm not gonna put the legs on because I'm gonna make it look like it's in the water. So the way I do that is I'll like draw some like lines, just like over the swan's body a little bit because you want it to look like it's in the water, like this. Okay, so it's looking like it's in the water. It's swimming in the water. And then if you guys want to add anything else in the background, you can. So a lot of times when I'm doing water scenes, I'll do like a little like grass or some hills in the distance like this. And you can put trees and a sun or whatever else you want up there. Um, to color our swans, swans are typically white, but I like to do fun colors for things. So I might do it maybe like I don't know, maybe maybe purple. Purple might be, look really light purple might be really pretty. So you guys can color this swan how you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make it a really, really light purple. So I am working with colored pencils and I really like colored pencils um, because I can control the color. So right now I'm pushing really, really, really lightly with my color pencil to make a very pale shade of purple. But if I push really hard on this, like I might on the, on the feathers of the wing, I might push harder like this and you can see how much this color changes just by how hard I push with my color pencil. 
But if you guys want to work with markers, if that's what you've got at home, or if you're working with crayons, that's fine too. If you guys want to change up your colors, you might have a couple different shades of purple, or if you're working with pink, or whatever color you want to make. A rainbow swan would be really pretty. If you did like rainbow stripes on your swan, that would be really pretty too. So you guys can, can work with multiple colors, but typically swans, I like to make them all one color, but I can use different shades of that color. So I can make it look a little more three-dimensional. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in the rest of the body, kinda of with this light purple, just pushing really, really lightly, like this, there. And then the beak, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that white, but if you guys wanted to make it gray, or if you wanted to make it gold, you know what, actually, I might make it gold, let me see. I think just like a light gold color might be kinda of pretty, especially since I've got like the, the swan is purple. And then to do the water, so I might do like a little bit of, a little hint of purple underneath the water here, like this. And then I'm gonna get my blue colored pencil and I'm gonna start doing some blue over the top here and around the side so you guys can see here. Here's my water. Like that. And sometimes I'll leave like some little white, like white showing. Like I won't color in everything on water because sometimes there's like some little highlights and reflections. And then if you guys did the grass kind of here behind, then you guys can do that green. And this would be a really pretty um, picture to put a bunch of trees in the background and maybe a beautiful sunset. You could do some sunset colors in the sky. Um, that would have been really fun. I, but I try to keep these videos kind of short so that I don't want them to be too long for you. Um, but again, get creative with your backgrounds. You guys can make this as beautiful as you want and add in as many details as you want. Thank you so much for drawing a swan with me today. Um, such a pretty project. Um, I'm trying to post these videos every day at 1 p.m. So I hope that you will be back drawing with me again tomorrow.